Hey everybody, my name is Antranik and I'm here with my dog Medox. And for this video, I'm going to teach you how to do inverted hang on the rings. Inverted hang looks like this. Kids do it all the time. They don't even think. And as adults, adults think they can't do this exercise anymore. But trust me, you can. It's not a difficult move. And as long as you have the grip strength to hang from a bar or rings for like 20, 30 seconds like this, like this, as long as you could just hang off a bar, then you have the grip strength. So when you go upside down, you can hold yourself up. That's about it. So there are two ways to get into inverted hang. One is from the front, which I just did, and the other is from the back. I'm going to talk about from the front real quick. If you don't have pulling strength, meaning you, you're not very good at pull-ups or you can only do like a couple or one, then what you do is you literally just kick up and use, put your feet on the straps. And if you don't get it in your first try, just try it a few times. So to demonstrate, I'm going to kick up and I'm going to put my feet around the straps like this. So like that. Okay, and then I release my legs from the straps and just hold this position with a straight body. Okay, now what, to get out of it, you tuck your knees into your chest and your heels to your butt and lower down slowly. Okay, so that was one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is if you have the pulling strength is to just pull with bent elbows and then drive your knees up really fast okay and then I'm gonna tuck the inverted hang and then lower back down okay now to get into it from the other way from behind this one is really fun and some people find it easier so it's gonna be like this the rings are about head height um, about the height of my face <laughs> and I'm standing like this I'm gonna put the rings behind me like this and let them turn let the palms turn okay and then I bend my knees okay so I have some load on my shoulders and then I'm just gonna hop up using my feet so here we go boom okay and now I'm in the inverted hang. Okay, I'll show you one more time. And to get out of it, by the way, I just tuck in. Tucking in is the easiest way. So one more time, I turn the palms around like this, bend the knees and jump. Okay, and that's about it, right? So. When you get used to holding that inverted hang position, I want you to also play with the rings turned out inverted hang. And that one looks like this. I'll show you from this side so you can see my palms. So normally we hold the inverted hang like this with the uh, palms facing each other. But when you get used to that, you can also turn the rings out, okay? This is a little bit more difficult, but this is a really fun move and it's good to work inverted hang in both hand or arm positions, okay? And to get out of it, you tuck in and then you come back down, okay? Now notice that when I'm coming out of inverted hang, I'm coming down with straight arms. Most people don't do that, okay? And that's okay, because the next video is on an exercise known as skin the cat. And the inverted hang is a good preparatory skill to have to learn how to do this next exercise. So thanks for watching, and just catch the next video, and we'll go from there, okay?